Well, guys, it's it's been a while since you've seen the, the, this this series on the channel. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Minecraft Survival series. Oh man, it feels weird to be back in this world. And you may be like, Justin, why are you back in this world? I thought you were taking a break. I was, but I miss it. I I, I have big plans. And here's the ultimatum that I have. There's a couple things we've got to go over in the beginning of this episode, but here's the ultimatum I have. A, I can now upload regular form content. My upload speed can support it. It'll take a couple hours to upload like a 20 minute video, but who cares? I'm okay with a couple hours. Um, another thing is I have a bunch of big plans that I want to do and executing them on NSG, it just, it doesn't seem liable to me right now because it will reset once the world and everyone gets bored it'll reset right but on on the single player series this series is here for as long as we as long as we keep it here so i i've been i've been up in the air about bringing the series back and i think i definitely want to and we'll run both nsg there i need to figure out a decent schedule of when i'm going to be able to record it and stuff like that but we're going to be running nsg single player top five minecraft seeds and seed showcase i think that's where the channel is going to sit for a little while and that's the content we're going to create and i'm thinking that maybe just maybe four videos a week that might be something cool but uh, in this episode, I kind of just want to recap what we've done, and I want to start up on more of this city build. We have the villagers right here, and I've been breeding them up to try to make this area a little more efficient uh, off camera. Now, if I seem a little bit under energetic, under energetic is not the word I'm looking for, if I seem a little like sluggish while I'm talking, I, uh, I got home from work. I worked three 12 hour shifts in a row. They absolutely sucked. I was about to take a drink and I realized I'm not streaming. <laughs> um, don't even ask why I cut the video, but I worked three, three hour videos or three hours. I worked three 12 hour shifts at work and I came home and I was like, oh, we're going to do some grinding tonight. It's my last day. It's like eight o'clock. So then I, I got all my clothes off and I jumped into bed just to lay there and talk to my girlfriend for a minute. And I was out cold, out cold gone completely gone did not wake up woke up at four o'clock in the morning eight hours later seven seven eight hours later and couldn't get back to sleep so now it is currently eight seven forty a.m i've been up since 4 a.m and we're here to record but yeah so for some reason i got a bunch of nether rack on me i have no idea why but i do want to recap some stuff that we've done in this series while i while i talk so uh, definitely this is going to be our villager trading hall, which is something we need to work on. Oh, so very soon. We need to get, I didn't realize how OP, I've been watching the Hermitcraft server, how OP villagers were. So that's definitely something we need to work on. And I want to finalize kind of a couple projects here on the base. Now, the goal for this area, this, this is the spawn area and this is where our home is. Uh, is to have like these neat little Mayan houses all over the place and I really like this theme of just stone They're very simplistic to build and they're I, I think littering Littering this area with them will look really cool So we'll build like an outer perimeter wall and we'll have something really cool in this area Maybe like a, a watchtower up here and like maybe like a, a dock like this is definitely something we can work on in these oncoming episodes but then there's other projects that I'm kind of half-assingly keeping a secret because I don't want anybody to know so it's like it's okay it's okay so either way that's what we've done now off camera and this was the video I was recording before I walked away from this world it's gone now I've deleted it because I didn't I didn't think I'd be returning to this world uh, this quickly but <laughs> I've missed it so much uh, I built this like mega mob farm and I love it when I say mega mob it's just a basic mob farm uh, it works so well it works so freaking well I love this design I love everything about it was a two block gap I had to make a two block gap and I didn't do it I absolutely hate myself but either way it's a really good mob farm I'm really enjoying it but I've realized one of the biggest limitations to this world is an iron farm we don't have an iron farm in this world and i didn't realize come here die i didn't realize how limiting not having an iron farm was how completely limiting not having it was so i think what we're going to work on in this episode is getting a quick one going we have the villagers right there it's not going to be very difficult to get one set up as you can see this farm works really well but 
I don't have a collection platform yet. I have this where I've been running down to grab the gunpowder. And it's, it's just not efficient enough. I need to get some type of hopper killing system. So, we're going to work on an iron farm in this episode. We're going to get one up and running. I don't need it to be insane like the one on NSG. Uh, it's just me on this world. So, something like maybe a two seller would be pretty good. Um, the base is this way. I can never remember where the base is from here. But it's this way. So... I think what we're going to work on is an iron farm. Now, it needs to fit the theme. It needs to fit the theme of the base, which is obviously, like, temple, ruins, yada, 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 normal stuff. So that's what it needs to do, and I think that's what we're going to work on. That's really that's really all we did off camera in this world. Uh, one other thing I do want to work on, eventually, eventually, and this is very, this is a very big eventually. Uh, the, the main point to this world will be all of our adventures and our, like, projects and bigger projects, right? But the main base area, I want to have it to be our main, well, not our main. We can work on other stuff in the future, obviously, when things become outdated and stuff like that. But I want this base to be kind of where we get our material collection and where we know we have stuff that if we need it, we can get it. Uh, we don't have to struggle. We don't have to worry about it. And because we don't have a shopping district on this, it's just it's just gonna be it's just gonna be easier. <laughs> so if we go down this ladder now, real quick, I, I touched on it in the last NSG episode. I don't know what's getting released first, this or the NSG episodes. If I am repeating myself, I do apologize for that. But we do have this slime farm, by the way. So this is definitely something we need to get going. But if I do repeat myself, I do apologize. But I woke up today at four o'clock in the morning, like I said, and I went to record and my Rode NT1 just stopped working. It has like this weird, it sounds like when you have a pop filter and you start, or like a windsock and you start twisting it around the mic, how it does that feedback noise, it's doing that constantly. So I think it's something to do with the capsule and I don't think it's recoverable. So what I'm recording on right now is my AT2020 and it's what I'm gonna be using until other the coronavirus pandemic goes away and they reopen music stores because I'm pretty sure I have zero way of getting a new microphone here. So thank God for the NT or for the ET2020. Uh, but either way, that's that's what we're rolling with right now. So I'm gonna crack on actually. I'm going to design out the farm. And once we have the design, like I know what design we're gonna use. We're gonna use obviously the the main design, uh, the two cell. But I wanna design how it's gonna look sitting here. And I'm thinking this thing isn't permanent, don't worry. It's not permanent at all. Uh, we're gonna redesign this. I think it's full anyway. Yeah, it is. Uh, we're gonna redesign that at some point and make it fit into the base a little bit more. Hmm. I think I want the iron farm somewhere up on like a hill where... Okay, let me just, let me, let me just work on it. Uh, yeah, I'll work on it and come back with you guys. Alright, so numerous hours later and we've made progress. I've made some pretty decent... I'm not even bother killing you guys. I've made some pretty decent progress and then I realized I have a flaw. I have a flaw in my plan. Now, I want to sleep before I show you my plan because it is kind of important. <laughs> I think I figured out a way around it and I think I figured out a real way of doing it and it's going to be really cool. You can see I did not have a good time. Did not have a good time with this project. <laughs> And we're only partially the way through. So what I did was I built it into this hill, which looks really cool. I really like this. Now, the zombies are in place. One of them's name tagged and one of them's carroted. <laughs> I forgot from building this on NSG how much of a pain in the butt it was to move these guys around and get them in place. But now that they're in place, we're good to go. Um, I'm happy. They're not, but I am. We're good. So they're in place. We're good to go. Now, I don't have enough iron to make rails from here to there to move the villagers. So what I think I'm going to do, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to go where the villagers need to be, which is right here. Oh, no. <laughs> you can see why I'm not having a good time with this. So the villagers are going to go here, right? Right. This is where they go. Um, right here, right where this block is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build up, not like that. I'm going to build up like this. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I need more blocks. I'm, I'm going to do a water column all the way over. And every, every block I'm going to go up. So it's one constant water column. 
and then they will just go whoop and go whoop and they will just end up in place and then we can just build it and it'll be golden <laughs> god i hope this works <laughs> All right, the water stream is in place, kind of. I, I messed it up a little bit, so it's a little bit off, but I'm gonna make an attempt at this now. What we should be able to do is just break this block in reality, and then the villagers will be like, hey, a new wet, there we go. Go up, go up. One of you guys will, right? One of you guys will get curious what's up there. Oh no, it's nighttime. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> no. Okay, round two. <laughs> I just slept, made a day. We're good. Okay, go. You want to go up there, right? Yeah, you do. And then that closes it off. Oh no. Oh, well, you'll probably make it. I was going to say, I didn't add a bubble column but they swim so <laughs> you just gotta made it all right buddy we're just gonna push you now there's two blocks here that you're gonna be a pain in the butt on and it turned to water crap um that needs to turn there we go <laughs> now this dude should in theory <laughs> just travel these this entire walkway <laughs> I don't want to say I'm a genius or anything, but like, low key. And the thing is, like, he's on his way. I need water there, so I have time to, you know, just swoop down, grab some water, grab the fireworks, fly back up. <laughs> oh my god, this is awesome. I love this. This is hilarious. So I need water right there. Yep, all good. Now, I'm gonna break this, and... Oh, he got a trade! How did you already pick up... It has to be these ones. How did you pathfind anything from here? <laughs> it has to be those ones. Yeah, fisherman. It's the barrels. He's trying to decide if he wants to be a fisherman or not. You do. Trust me, you do. You're good. And... Look at that. He's just... Now he's like... He's like, this is gonna be my spot. And... Done. Oh, this will be so easy. Okay, I'm kind of not liking where this is going. <laughs> They're pathfinding in. How are you doing that? Okay, I definitely got enough for the one cell, so I want to shut this thing off. I left it open and they path found in. There's only, there's only five left. Oh no. Um. I can separate them. Yeah, I can. Ha! Huh. Okay, I need one more to go. Okay, he's going, so that makes it two. Now I can separate you out. Oh, this worked out. No! 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 <laughs> okay, I gotta find a way to separate them two before they hit this spot. I'm gonna jump in between them. Jump in between... Place a slab, push back, slab, yes. I can fit, you can't. Suck it, nerd. Okay, so now these, these three, right? Oh god, let me up there. I gotta stop wasting fireworks. <laughs> this whole thing was for me to get fireworks. <laughs> okay, there we go. We're going, we're going. Yes, yes. <laughs> go in there. Get in there. Go with your buddy. One, two. And now all we have to do is like come back here and redirect them over. So just make it, make the water flow over there instead of over here. We got one there, two down there. We have enough to keep the villager breeder going. We're good. This is good. Oh my god. I want to see. This should fire up actually. This should fire right up once these guys are in place so I'm gonna remove I'm gonna get the other guys over actually screw it we might as well get the other guys over while we have this thing set up okay so all the villagers are in they're all in place we have one iron golem that spawned from that cell and then that actually shut off the whole farm so it's all in place 
It's all good to go. Now I need to go through the disgusting task of removing this whole cobblestone. <laughs> Why did I build it out of cobblestone? It is the longest thing to mine, and I built the whole thing out of cobblestone. But it worked, you know? We got the villagers over here. The zombies are in place. I'm happy, I'm happy. Let's get to removing. Alrighty, guys. That's gonna do it for this episode. Let's... Oh, God. <laughs> Let's take a look at what I got. I want to sleep so you guys don't have to get ruined by it. Now, let me know what you think of the microphone. Uh, my Rode NT1, like I said at the beginning of the video, did indeed die. It sucks. Um, but whatever. You can see. <laughs> I've died so many times making this thing. It's ridiculous how many times I've died. And I'm running out of rockets, which means I need to make more, which means this farm couldn't be finished sooner. So what I did, like you saw in previous clips, is cleared out like this. And then, I'm slowly, because I don't have enough carpet to fully do this, I'm slowly just covering the outside. Let's go get that piece right there. I'm slowly just covering the outside with carpets, which makes it so they can't spawn, and it also blends into the ground, like the mountainside, using light gray carpet. So, like, it's perfect. Everything's working really well. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, let's check what we have. I have this thing running not too quickly right now, but, like, quick enough. You already ate. Thank you. Yoink. I'll take all your wool. Okay, so I have this thing running. Let's see what it looks like. How much iron you like? So it does go into a killing chamber. Uh, I feel like I overcomplicated everything here. So it comes down here. Where's the entrance? Right here. Oh, yeah, that'll do. Let's throw this half. Whoop! Let's throw this half stack in too, because now that's our iron storage. Damn, this thing's actually producing way more than I expected. The one on NSG is just disgusting. Oh, yeah, see? They spawn in. If they spawn in on the outside, they're like, yay! But here's one of the problems I'm finding. They want to stop right here. And I don't really know why they want to stop right there. But with the carpets and clearing this area out, uh, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Like, we're just surrounding this whole mountaintop with carpets. It's, it's nothing. It's not a big deal at all. Uh, light gray dye, though. That's kind of expensive to make. Didn't realize how expensive that was. But either way, this is what I'm doing. Just covering the, the mountainside with this. And then I think, ooh, this is more than eight blocks to finish up the, the ring. <laughs> but it's gonna work, it's gonna work, we're good. So, anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of the Minecraft Survival Series. If you guys are new to the channel, uh, be sure to smack that subscribe button. If you enjoyed, you can hit the like button. If you didn't enjoy, you can tell me you hated it in the comments. I'm okay with that. I, I got a, I got a thick skull. I'm okay. I'm okay. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it. Uh, good to have this series back, I think. I'm actually really excited. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.